What's up guys? It's May 16th. I'm back at a property. Oh, I've hunted here two mornings in a row. Yesterday I didn't get to hunt very long, but it's been pretty slow here. We know there's birds here. Today looks like a better day. I think they're going to be gobbling today. But I got my camo on. I'm not going to be in a blind today, thank God. And hopefully they talk and I can make a move. I just need to know if they're at the front of the property or the back. So that makes a huge difference on how I'm going to set up. But we'll see what happens. I'm not dedicated to hunting here all day unless they're talking, but if they don't, I'm going to go try to find something on public or somewhere else. So. Just figure I'll film this intro. They ain't gonna be gobbling for another 20 minutes, so we'll see what happens. Stay tuned. I was gonna try to get to this backfield. But a bird gobbled right there. It's like a little trail. And it connects the backfield to here, so. Yeah, he's not far. So I got the hands literally like eight yards in front of me. And I'm tucked back in the bushes because this is the only setup I have. So if this happens, it's gonna be close quarters, so. But they're talking, so we'll see what happens.
they're still goblins, so I'm just gonna give them a silent treatment. They definitely know where I am, so hopefully they come in. It's two times, so could get rowdy. Sandhill Crane. God, dude, I had to shoot him before I got he got in the decoys. I shot him at like 15 times. <laughs> I had to though, cause I mean, look at this. The hen's still right there, but I'm literally just sitting on the ground. I don't know how that just worked. I got the hen to fire back up. As you can tell, she's right there. Oh. And I just look up and all I saw was a Tom coming up through this brush. I couldn't really see nothing except a fan just coming up through and I hope he was in frame. I had the shot cam on for this one, but the 948, baby. Whew. Let's go. Oh man, what a setup this was. <laughs> okay, real quick. So this is where the bird was standing when I shot. Now I gotta loosen this up. It is gonna be on level. I'm not adjusting the legs, but so right through this, I was just right there, right in front of that bush in the behind that front one, just inside the woods. So this is what he would have saw, you know, looking from here. He was coming up, strutting for his hen decoys. And like I said, this is right where I shot through. And you can see in the shot cam footage, I did have a clean shot, so worked out perfect. So I'm right where he was when I shot him. Then over my shoulder here, you can see that tiny little window. I was just set up, setting on the ground. Uh, I didn't have a backrest or anything. Just, I couldn't get into the woods because birds were gobbling down in there. Uh, this isn't one of the ones that I called in last Friday that I couldn't kill because I couldn't swing the camera. So I didn't shoot. As you guys know, we're dedicated to filming this, so. But needless to say, I'm sitting there. They had shut up, as you could probably hear. And, uh, God, these mosquitoes are bad. So I gave it some time, and I heard two, the two birds gobbling, working away. And I thought I heard a third gobble in there in, in the morning, but, well, when they're on the roost or when they're figuring out things, I got a hen to fire up because I was just soft calling, so I just kept working her. Next thing I know, I look up and I just see a full fan coming right up this trail. 
and uh, shot them. Uh, had to take the 940 out and test this afield. I've had four or five hunts with this thing now. Um, I really like it. And this setup, being this short and compact, had, was a huge benefit because, like you can see here, and I had to shoot them where I shot them because in the decoys I was worried. I was really worried because it would have been like 10 steps, but it would have been a wide open area trying to film that trying to swing on him. I just felt like he'd bust me. And uh, so I took this shot in the one window I had. And like I said, it's my normal, you know, this is probably 17 yards, I would say. Not not yet 20, but it, it doesn't matter. I mean, that was unreal. It's been hard. I've hunted here. Yesterday I didn't get to hunt too much because I had to take care of a lot of BCO stuff, trying to get stuff ready for the summer to launch our pattern in service and stuff like that. Um, then the day before, I didn't hear anything. Uh, that was the first couple hunts that I had been out of it. Or I should say we had been out of it because Moose and I both hunted and we both really didn't get into anything. Um, we've had a very good year. Now I'm tagged out in New York. Two beautiful toms, two beautiful memories, and it, it's it ain't about the beard length, the spur length, the weight for me. That means nothing to me. I mean, it's cool to look at, but man, that was an awesome hunt. Just just going from feeling like I got to make a move. What can I do? How can I do it? And that's the only reason why I was soft calling was to try to get either their hen to spark up and work her or get them to gobble and I could figure out which way they're going and how I can make my next move. And doing that got the hen to fire up. And I think the key was I didn't get loud on her. I was just real quiet and she answered me quiet. So I just stayed quiet and just tried to be one of the girls. And it worked because, like I said, she came up. As soon as he saw the two decoys out, I got two DSD. I had the lead hen and the posturing hen working across his trail, looking like they're gonna walk right into me. He seen them and he was drumming. I thought I heard it, and then next thing you know, I saw a fan. Golly. May 17th, tagged out. And I got one with the Mossberg SA-28 and uh, the 940 now. And I did have the Jebs 655 in here with uh, the Kinetic Gunworks 8 over 9s. I gotta find that that shell, cause that shell's way too cool to, I wanna keep that one, but. Man, what a hunt. What an unreal hunt. I think we really take for granted how blessed we are to be able to turkey hunt, I really do, because it ain't about killing them, that's not why this hunt was awesome. It's just, it's been some hard days, not being in them, trying, trying, trying. And third day, our third morning in a row here, they were finally talking. I, I had to make do with my setup because they didn't talk till it was pretty much light out. So I knew if I tried to get where I wanted to go, where I was going, uh, they would have busted me. And you know, this property, this is my first. This is my first time I've killed here. Moose has killed one here. I've killed one up top, but not down here. So that's really cool. And to see it do it like that, I already looked at the shot cam footage. It's just absolutely awesome. I wish I could have let him get into the decoys, but like I said, I just, I don't think it would have ended well just based on what I had for an actual setup because he would have pinpointed me. I mean, right here, I can see why he couldn't because I had my quick camo on. I had the Nomad, or the North Mountain Gear leafy suit, so I, I blended into the bush. I was the bush. But that's enough talking. Uh, time to pack up, get some pictures with this guy. I already gave him his respect and thank the Lord for it. Because like I said, guys, I know we overlook the simple things in life with all the stresses we have, but turkey hunting is not one that I'll ever overlook. I mean, I don't care if I kill them. I just like working birds. You learn something every time. And to see them put on the shows that they do, I will forever be thankful that I started turkey hunting and I don't, <laughs> there's nothing, nothing like it. Nothing like it. But guys, this is Jake Sleesman, Blue Collar Outdoors. Unreal season so far, unreal hunt. 
man, this 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 it's hard to tag out. Two birds, completely different areas. I wasn't sure how this turkey season would go with replacing my engine and all that, not getting to do all my plans, but I think mean, God God uh he made up for it. He's he's blessed me with some insane memories this this year and I couldn't be more thankful. But guys, as always, make sure to smash the thumbs up button for your boys. Drop your comments below. I'm going to get my butt to work getting this video done up. i got to get his breasts out, get ready to make some turkey poppers. and God, wouldn't change a thing. Wouldn't change a thing about these bad boys. As always, hope you subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.